Brett Taylor, my son, uh, is so special to me. See, it's hard. The guy uh, has been like my best friend my whole life. I'm going to take over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start with Kristen. Kristen, you are the most perfect addition to this family. You are God sent. Amen. We love you so much. You are so Montana. <laughs> yes. You yes. yes. become the perfect. most amazing big sister for Logan. You are a freaking ray of sunshine. Weird. I, I, Tay, I'll get to you. <laughs> Kristen, we love you so, Thank so you. much. I love Your you guys perfection. too. Love you. Mwah. Can you do Tay now? Well, okay. I'm just going to say <laughs> I just had, I heard the other night that uh, Kristen wants a big family. <laughs> so, oh, just four. So I know they're going to have a wonderful family. He is going to make an awesome dad. And, uh, I love you so much, buddy. And I love you, Kristen. I got more than just words. I got more than just words. You bring me songs as sweet like the birds So I got more than just words Chris, and I want to start these vows by saying that you are hands down the most amazing, wonderful, and beautiful person I have ever been lucky enough to meet. <clears throat> you are everything to me, and I thank God every night that he put you in my life. You are the most thoughtful and selfless person and you would put anyone before yourself. So I vow to always support that love and caring side of you. It amazes me every day that you chose me to be the one you spend the rest of your life with and grow old together. That being said, I vow to love you even when we're old and gray. People have been saying these past couple of years, you don't just marry the person, you marry the family. Well, I found out in this instance, I'm marrying the entire town of Big Timber. And to be honest, I couldn't be happier. Everyone and every part of this family and this town has all played in a role of making the woman of my dreams. And for that, I'm incredibly thankful. So I vow to love and cherish every small town aspect about you. But most of all, Blondie Girl, I vow to love you unconditionally and wholeheartedly for as long as we are on this earth. And I'll always put you before anything and everything else. Now, all by that being said, I just have one question for you. What you want to be married to me for, anyhow? Over the last six and a half years, you have shown me what love and partnership truly mean. You are the man of my dreams, my biggest supporter, and my best friend. You are selfless, funny, thoughtful, handsome, and hardworking. Today, I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage you and inspire you to follow your dreams. I promise to laugh with you and kiss you every day of our lives. I promise to love you when life seems easy and love you when life seems hard. I promise to cherish you and respect you. And finally, I, I promise to show you for the rest of my life how much I love you. I can't wait this next step in life with you as my husband to build upon our marriage, expand our careers, create a family, and grow old together. I choose to spend today and all of my tomorrows with you. I love you. Shut, and we got everything we need, and then a little too.
you're starving for something you can't touch Would you be honest with me right now? There's something in the undercurrent I can feel it coming up Don't you wanna feel it? Taking over your senses Don't you ever fear it? Technologic advances Baby, come escape with me I'll come sweep you off of your feet Don't you wanna feel it? Don't you wanna? Don't you wanna? Tay, while I was writing this speech, I had many thoughts and memories of our childhood. From the summer nights where we'd use Dad's floodlights to illuminate the basketball court, uh, to the even later nights where we'd stay up watching all the classic comedies that we still quote to this day. Uh, through all the many experiences, now distant memories, we formed an unbreakable bond. We were like two magnetic forces that couldn't be separated and hurt whenever we were. I didn't know it at the time, but the innate instinct that I had to look up for my younger brother is what pulled me back to him. And even though I had come to terms with being apart, this didn't stop the lump in my throat and watery eyes from forming every time we said goodbye to you. And that is until one weekend, one weekend trip to Bozeman, when Tay introduced me to something special. When I met you, Kristen, for the first time, I felt warmth, purity, and joy. I knew instantly that my brother was okay. And that I could let my guard down. And you take it from there. Alright, and I'm so glad you did because you transformed him into the best version of Tay that I know. I also want to thank you for being by his side for it all. Tay and I know firsthand how hard it is to be apart from the ones you love. But we also know that a bond as strong as the one that you two have will forever make you inseparable. And you do just about anything to be with each other. I'm so happy to officially welcome you to the family and to call you my sister. Tay, I'm proud of you. I always have been. I can't wait to see what the years ahead hold for you and your beautiful life. I love you both. To Tay and Kristen. <laughs>